सॉल्व एक्स क्यूब माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दे टोल्ड एस टू सॉल्व दिस मीन्स वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ना हाउ डू वी फाइंड इट सी रिमेंबर इवन इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी यूज टू चेंज एक्स टर्म हियर ऑल्सो द सेम थिंग आई विल चेंज दिस एक्स टर्म बाई वॉट इन प्लेस ऑफ माइनस सेवन एक्स आई विल बी राइटिंग माइनस वन एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स ओके एंड प्लस सिक्स एज इट इज नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम दीज टू वॉट कैन आई टेक कॉमन एक्स so here i am left with x square minus 1 from these two i can take minus 6 i will take common so i get x minus 1 if doubt you can multiply and see clear next to simplify this i will put a square on 1 even if i put a square on 1 it's not going to change anything now why did i put a square on 1 such that i can make use of this formula a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b now here a is x b is 1 so this will become x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus 6 x minus 1 equal to 0 okay next what can i take common from these two did you get the catch i can take x minus 1 common from both if i take x minus 1 common here left with these two and here i am left with 6 next open this up so what do i get x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 now what will you do this is a quadratic so factorize it and how do we factorize again i change the x term only and how do i change in place of plus 1x now i will be writing plus 3x minus 2x okay i am not teaching factorization i am writing directly if you want to learn factorization see factorization playlist okay next minus 6 equal to 0 now what can i take common from these two x so i am left with x plus 3 here i am left with x plus 3 means here also it should be x plus 3 from this x has gone inside means outside should be minus 2 equal to 0 okay next so this i'll be writing here now so it is x minus 1 from these two i will take x plus 3 common so here i am left with x here i am left with minus 2 okay next how do i get x take each bracket equal to 0 this entire product should be equal to 0 that could only happen if this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 or this equal to 0 so if x minus 1 equal to 0 add 1 on both sides so i get x to be 1 if x plus 3 equal to 0 take minus 3 on both sides so x equal to minus 3 if x minus 2 equal to 0 add plus 2 on both sides so this cancel out x equal to 2 so these are the values of x for our given equation Okay